Welcome to ASMR Tips. And today, I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something very special today. Something beautiful. Something that just shows us, you know, how unbelievable chess is. I'm going to tell you the whole story about this position. But first, just take a look at it. It's white right to move. And the story behind this is that this position was presented. It's not from a game. It's, it's composed. It is made a gentleman whose name I cannot pronounce, so I will put it on the screen. He made this back in 1970, but didn't publish it. It wasn't until 1987 that somebody saw this for the first time. It was presented at a super tournament. Just casually, just in the in the audience, somebody showed this position and said, you know, what do you think the correct move is? And as the players finished their games, they came and looked at it one by one and saw if you know if they could find a way to solve it. And they could not. And we had players there like Korchnoi, Bent Larsen. We had Anatoly Karpov there. We had Gary Kasparov. Gary Kasparov himself. And he came and he could not crack this. There also was uh, an old man who uh, had come to be a chess reporter. Just report on the tournament as a journalist, you know. And uh, then one of his friends who was playing in the tournament felt sick. And he said, okay, I, I can play instead. Because his name was Michael Tal, the magician from Riga. They allowed him And he also came after his game finished, took a look at this position, gave it a good 10 minutes, and he couldn't figure it out. Then he went for a walk in the park. A walk in the park. And while walking around there, So he rushed back and he demonstrated what the idea is, what it is that White can do. The magician from Riga, the only one who was able to crack this. If you want to try, if you can beat him, if you can beat the magician from Riga and crack it yourself, feel free to do so. I can say even this, feel free friend to turn on your chess computer and plug this in there. It's not going to help. It's going to give you the wrong answer. It's going to tell you that black is winning. And it will not be until you manually input the correct moves. The first four or five moves. It will not be until then that it can find how amazing is that? Enough. Enough with the foreplay. Let's get to it. So what's going on in this position? It's wide to move. And it looks 
pretty dire for white. Because we have knight for knight, bishop for bishop, pawn for pawn, pawn for pawn. So we are down two pawns and a knight. Okay, that's not ideal. But we do have this very advanced pawn that is threatening to go here and become a queen. You can see I have the queen here on the side. So why are we not just doing that? The problem is, if we go here, make the queen, it's uh, black's move now. And black has knight. Knight to f7. Check. Check to the king. And we're picking up the queen. Oops. Not so good. So, we can't really go ahead and make a queen. Then, okay, what can we do? We have this check the bishop. We could explore that at length. It doesn't work. This pawn can't move. The king. Could you try something? The problem is if you try to go, you can't go here because of the knight in order to protect. If you try to go here, we can have a check from the bishop. It's not going to work. That leaves us with this knight. This knight has this check. And here the fun begins. Okay. So what do we want to do? First we orient the knight the correct way. Looking at the king, it says check to the king. Where can the king go? If the king goes to the back rank here or here, Actually, it can't go here because of the knight. But if the king goes here, now we can make the queen. Like so. Because it is check. It's actually checkmate. Almost. King can escape here. Uh, but because it's check, black doesn't have time to pick up the queen with this check. So that means that the king does not want to go to the back rank. How about going here to attack the knight then? How about that? The problem here is that now we have bishop check protected by the knight. And if you capture the knight, the bishop now can see f7. So when we make a queen, there is no knight check to pick up the queen because we can we can take the knight. Okay. So we can't take the knight here. We can't go here. It's covered by the knight. We can't go here. It's covered by the bishop. We cannot go here because we still make the queen and we still have the issue that we can't go here because we have the bishop here. And that's, uh, that's a lot of trouble there. Okay, so uh, let's go to the top of the riddle again, to the puzzle here and say check. We found that this move does not work because of bishop check. So we go here. Now what do we do? No more checks with the bishop. Still we cannot make a queen because of check. So what do we do? We play knight to a4 to h5. I'm sorry. If we go here, the king is blocking the knight, so we can make the queen. If 
we go here, we have a bishop check. King cannot go back because of the knight. So you have to go to the back rank. And then we make the queen with check. Okay. So we cannot go here. We cannot go here. We cannot go here. We cannot go here and here. So that leaves this square. And what do we do now? Bishop. Check. Now we cannot go here still. You get the picture. We don't want to block the knight. This square. This square attacked by the bishop. So of course we capture the knight. Right. And imagine being tall. Imagine being the magician from Riga. And just walking along the park. Just you don't even have a chessboard, no. Like who needs a chessboard? Just thinking about the position and you do all of this. And then you get the idea, oh, oh, right in this position, I am going to play and make a queen. Even though you have just spent all this energy trying to prevent this particular check from happening. But now you just allow it and you don't stop calculating there like like I would I would have you know, I'd spent so much time calculating all of this and I would say okay the night check then I wouldn't explore this line any further right not tall tall said well I'll play king king d6 inviting the check knight takes queen check because I can now play king to f5, king f5, king f5. And let's take a look at what happened. We have now a king, a pawn, and a bishop left. We threw a knight away, we threw a pawn away. But how does this king feel? Can I go here? This pawn blocks him. These three squares are taken up by the king and this square is taken up by the pawn. And suddenly that means that if it's our move again we can play bishop here with a check. Pawn would block, we would capture and that would be checkmate. Can you see how that's checkmate? So black needs a way to stop this checkmating idea. What can we do? Well, we just push this pawn. Problem solved. There's no checkmate. We can just capture like that. No problem. It's still tall. <laughs> Walking around in some park. Just calculating. Saying, okay. Then I move my bishop here, I guess. No, that doesn't work. Then how about here, maybe? Oh, right. Because if you go here and make a queen, I'm just going to checkmate here. And then you could think maybe, okay, then you can go back to the board and brag, hey, I found the solution. But no, you also have to be creative and find brilliant moves. For black. And there is a brilliant move here for black. Can you find the defense? I'll leave you to think about the defense while I go to a different chessboard and uh, pick up something I need. What 
did I uh, what did I go to get? What do you think? What do you think I went to get? Here the best move is that you advance this pawn and make a knight. Because the knight, the third knight, is defending against the checkmate. Hmm. Is it time for white to give up? Do you think it's time to well, for white to give up? No. No. White here. Please. Bishop d5. You want to come here and checkmate here. The only way to stop it is to advance this pawn. So when the bishop goes to c4, you can make a fourth knight. Of course. I mean, didn't you think of that 25 moves ago? <laughs> or however long it was since the position started. Checkmate doesn't work. We are protecting against the checkmate. So, what can white do now? Capture this knight? Nope. That will lose the game. We need to find a way to threaten checkmate. This does not work because we have this knight. turn this knight here to look at f7 to see that it's defending the checkmate. Bishop b5. Threatening bishop d e8. Bishop e8. Checkmate. But now maybe you see the pattern. How do black defend against that? With of course a knight. So, the knight defends against the checkmate, but finally, the archbishop has found a way, because now he can play to a4, threatening checkmate here, and this checkmate is on. If you try to put something in the way, just go here, we're going to capture, you could maybe try that, capture, capture, so it's, it's simply, it simply does not work. There is no way to stop this checkmate. This bishop is on a different color complex can't help. This pawn can go here, that doesn't change anything. This pawn and the king, they can't move. And these two knights, they are short range pieces. There's no way they can get to the other side of the board in just one move. So this is the end of the puzzle. Technically you can try something like this to prolong the game. I go here, I now threaten this checkmate. You have to do this because you can't move the knight. Um, I capture that. Now you have to move, I don't know, whatever. This can't move, it's pinned, so checkmate, like so. Isn't that just about the most... Oh, the rain, my god. Yeah, at the end of this video, I'd just like to say a quick thank you to you guys. The channel has been growing like crazy this year. I've 
been working on this channel for like seven years and I had some cool supporters like some really awesome people but we were a very very small channel oh my god listen to the rain we were a very small channel at the start of this year and now I get sponsor deals I have chess boards sent to me I mean it's not a job yet but I can see it coming and it's all it's it's because of you guys it's because you comment you like you watch you just watch the stuff I mean how amazing is that thank you guys so so much thanks for watching this video 